Hey, wouldn't it be great if the government worked for us instead of against us? That opening quote came from a state Supreme Court decision, which ruled that Joseph Politri was guilty of possessing an assault firearm. This firearm wasn't an AK-47, or an Uzi 9mm, or even a South African street sweeper. The gun was a Marlin Model 60. It's not really in common use by any modern military, but it is used by hundreds of thousands of sports shooters and boy scouts to plinket cans or hunt squirrels. What was Politri's crime? His rifle held 17 cartridges instead of 15. This made it an assault rifle, at least in New Jersey. Did society benefit from Politri's conviction? Was a dangerous weapon taken off the streets? Did gang members and drug dealers really prefer to use 22 caliber squirrel guns in the commission of their crimes? The problem with New Jersey firearms laws is that they're vague, complicated, and don't really differentiate between the law-abiding owner and the vicious criminal. New Jersey is the home to over one million gun owners. However, there is no specific right to bear arms in the New Jersey Constitution. New Jersey residents own and use their firearms at the pleasure of the state. Technically, all firearms are banned in New Jersey, unless you fall under one of the state's exemptions. A firearm that can be perfectly legal in one setting, such as transporting it to a gun range in a locked container, can suddenly become illegal if you stop for gas along the way. And if you think that's bad, try buying a gun in New Jersey. New Jersey's paper-based system for purchasing a firearm was first conceived of in 1966. It hasn't kept up with the times. New Jersey law requires that all gun owners must get a firearms purchaser identification card to purchase long arms and a permit to purchase for each desired handgun. A citizen must apply for these permits in person at their local police department, supply two references, be fingerprinted, agree to a mental health records check, and submit to three background checks, one by the local police, one by the state police, and one instant check at the point of sale. Then they get their permit, right? Well, no. All of that paperwork just gives them the right to wait until the municipality feels like issuing the permit. By state law, this is supposed to take 30 days and towns can't add additional requirements. In reality, it can take up to 90 days, and some towns have added requirements such as notarization of forms, in-person interviews, employer notification, and copies of a lease or renter's agreement. Or donate to the New Jersey Second Amendment Society. This is a grassroots organization that is trying to prevent New Jersey towns from making up their own rules when it comes to the permitting process. They need money to do what they do. Give it to them. There are over one million legal gun owners in New Jersey, which means that 14% of New Jersey residents are effectively living as second-class citizens. We already have the best beaches, restaurants, and bedroom communities. If we change these laws, New Jersey residents will have the same rights and privileges as citizens in every other state. Except New Jersey will be even better, because we still won't have to pump our own gas. When I was climbing up the walls, it used to be a...